So today we are going to be going through the entire Wet n Wild Los Angeles Pro brush set. This brush set was exclusive to Walgreens. It was so funny. I walked in the Walgreens. I was like, hey, do you guys have that uh, Wet n Wild exclusive brush set that came out for the holidays, the Wet n Wild Pro one? And they're like, I've never had someone come and be that specific about what they want. <laughs> I'm like, look, girl, I know exactly what I want. So first off, let's talk about the packaging. Like, I mean, can we just talk about this? Like, look at that hologram. It's there goes baby gate. It is insane. Anyway, so this is their pro set that they came out for the holiday. This is like making a reflection on my face. Let me know. I don't have a viewfinder, so yeah. So this is the pro set that they came out with strictly for the holidays. It really reminds me of the um of the uh, shoot. The real techniques of bold metals collection. It really reminds me of that. But the uh, packaging is just so sleek. And these are all synthetic vegan brushes. And the point of these ones, the reason these are a little bit more different than regular synthetic ones is they're supposed to replicate essentially um, a natural hair bristle. So it's supposed to give you a lighter application. Um, so like synthetic can be like very like packed, but like way that they design these is so it's supposed to look and feel just like the natural hair brushes because a lot of times you want to use that when you want a softer application, you want it more diffuse, a little bit more blendability. Um, so that is why these are so special. The entire kit ran for $30. Um, I'm assuming that's the same for like all Walgreens. Usually things are more expensive here in Hawaii, but it had like the sticker from the factory. So I'm assuming they want them to charge $30 all around. And I did pay full price. I didn't have like a coupon or anything. These are all the brushes that it came with. It came with a dome pencil eye brush, the tapered blending brush, the flat contour brush, the precision foundation brush, which I thought was strange or interesting because it's angled. I've never really used an angled foundation brush. A large powder brush, this is like a tulip, kind of tapered tulip shape, and then a blush brush, which I thought this would be good for like setting under the eye. The tapered highlight, wait, hang on. Oh, did I put the, hang on, they have these backwards. The, um, this is the tapered highlighting brush, my bad. And then this one is the blush brush. <laughs> and then the precision setting brush, so I just like skipped on the thing, but, um, yeah, that's why I thought I would use it for setting. And then right here, they have the fluffy blending brush, just like a typical blending brush you use on your eyes. And this is the Precision Flat Face Brush, which would probably be good for like FX and things like that. Um, I really like the um, packaging. It's like a chrome. It almost looks lavender, though, in certain, like a chrome lavender. I know it's supposed to be like silver, but it just it has like a holographic look to it. Like it looks a little, you know, silver. It looks a little lavender. It's really, really pretty. And I love how these feel. Um, they feel really, really nice. Oh yeah, that's really soft. And so I just thought I'd test them out with you on camera today to see if I like them as much as the vegan collection, the brushes from Wet n Wild, because these are their, supposedly their pro set. For primer, I'm using the NYC Smooth Skin Perfecting Primer. I did do a video on this and the foundation. I will link it down below if you are interested. Um, Today, I'm going to be trying out with a foundation that I already love to see if I like the primer just with the NYC foundation. Oh my gosh. I love how this feels. Oh, it's so cooling. Um, so I'm going to be using a foundation that I already love just to see if I like it with this primer. Alright, I'm going to be taking the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation Brush. So I'm going to dot a little on my skin. Two. Oh wow, that looks nice. <laughs> Look how stained this gets though, that is crazy. This would probably be amazing for like powdered foundation. Wow, it really, usually I need more foundation than that, what the heck? That's crazy. This really distributed the product really well, I'm impressed. So I'm going to be adding in some concealer and I'm going to just go ahead and blend in. This doesn't have a concealer brush. So I'm going to do that really quickly and I'll be right back. I'll be taking the Wet n Wild, the new setting brush, um, and I'm going to be using my Flower Beauty Powder. And I'm just going to set under the eyes. I like that it's not like caking up the powder. I don't know if it's like something I'm doing different somehow, but I mean, it just doesn't, it's not caking up, it's really strange. This one is the large powder brush, so I'm going to be probably setting the rest of my face with it now that I think about it. But I'm also going to try and bronze with it because I tend to use powder brushes for bronzer. 
and this one's like a really good size. I'll go ahead and test out the bronzer while I'm here. This is the shade Tawny. Um, and so I'm just going to take the powder brush. Oh, wow, that's a really dark bronzer. Okay, but it's blending in nicely. I don't know how I feel about this bronzer. Hmm. The brush feels glorious, so I'm loving how the brush feels. Like, this feels... This side looks better. I don't know what it is. Okay, ooh. Okay, now that I'm, like, looking at the whole face and it's done, I'm liking this bronzer. Oh, yeah. Okay. So this is really nice. I like how it is tapered. So it's really good, I'd say, for um, bronzing just because it gets a smaller area and like it can diffuse out because this is more central so you can get most of the product right there. And then when you blend it, because these are shorter, it's going to diffuse it out. You see what I'm saying? So this is, honestly, I would say this is a really good bronzing brush. This might be my new fave. Ooh, so soft. Okay, this one is a big hit. I love that one. And I kind of like this. I want to keep playing around with it. Once again, this one is in the shade Tawny. So this moves us down into the blush brush, which is right here. Um, how is it? I'm trying to figure out. This is not usually what I use for, like, basically what I normally use for a blush brush is what the foundation brush looks like. So this can be really different for me. And I did get a blush from Makeup Geek as well in the shade. I don't know what shade blush this is. I don't feel like picking out of here but we will try this oh 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 I like how it feels I'm used to like I'm used to just like stamping my my blush on but oh wow wow you guys look at that look how nicely it's applying that blush and I really appreciate how it has like this dip for my thumb to like hold it so it's not like slipping around I like this brush set so far. It's really nice. I'm really curious when I most. Oh my god! I just got blush up there. You guys, lots of hits right now. I'm liking this. So I guess we should move along to highlighter. And this, I already know I'm gonna love this. It's shaped just like my other highlighting brushes, my M501. So I might as well try out the super dark. Oh wow, that's gonna be so dark. Maybe it's gonna be more diffused. Um, highlighter. I'm just like so scared to try this out because it's like gonna be so. Oh, okay, it's actually not bad. But I think I'm going with a different one. Like it's not terrible, but it's not. I'm not feeling this shade right now. We're gonna go with some classic champagne pop, or, or is this opal? This is opal. We're gonna go with some opal. Oh yeah, this is a very very nice highlight. Oh yes. All right, this is. An amazing highlighting brush. Um, I think they nailed it. I think that you know the packing style brush when it comes to highlighting is really what people like nowadays, and I am feeling it. Like this feels nice. It's really you know diffusing out my highlighter nicely, um, and I'm okay with it. All right, let's see how it goes on the nose. And then chin. I like that's not making it too um too intense, you know what I'm saying? Um I'm going to contour a little bit. I know I'm like going in a weird order. I did bronze like my forehead, but I want to contour a little bit and I'm going in with this makeup geek. I'm gonna go in with this makeup geek uh one right here to test this out as well. I'm using the contour brush in these sets. Okay, these Makeup Geek ones are really powdery. All right. Wow, okay, that's intense, all right. Okay, that. Okay, is it the brush or is it the contour powder? Let me go to my for one that I like and see if it's a brush that's pissing me off or if it's uh, the contour powder. One hundred percent the contour powder that's making me mad. 
because this looks nice on this side. Okay, how am I going to remedy this? Let me grab a little powder. Like, see this side compared to this side? It's just, no. It's so muddy. Makeup deep, what are you doing to me? Of course, I've only tried their eyeshadows before, so I'm just not, like, so much better. So much better. I like it. So, the contour brush, not my fave. Um, it's not terrible. It's, it's just, it's too stiff for me. I'm, if I'm using this style of brush, I want to use my NARS Eda one, or, um, there's one from Morphe that's shaped like this. Anyways, my NARS Eda one, it's, I don't know, it's just, it, it applies too much, just, it's okay, not my favorite in the collection, um, this is not one I would probably reach for first, um, but we'll move on and, you know, we'll see. Um, let me just clean up my cheek area with some powder. Um, I'm also going to be using some Bronx ones. So let's just try this out. Okay, so this one's the blending brush. This one is the... I just wish I had like the names on them. This one is the tapered blending. Wait, what? Oh, this is supposed to be like the E-tool. Okay, got it, got it, got it. I get it, I get it. So I'm going to be starting out with the uh, fluffy blending brush. I'm going to be going into... A Bronx. Where's my brown? I'm going into my Makeup Geek and Anastasia palette right here, and I'm just going to be picking up Peach Smoothie. And we'll start blending. Oh, this is. Oh, there it is. Okay. This one kind of feels just like. It's a little bit more taper than the um, crease brush and the vegan collection. I mean, this is vegan as well, but you know, the ones with the pink tops. Um, hmm. Am I just like tanner? Is that why I'm not really noticing peach smoothie as much? There we go. I just did not pick up enough product. I'm moving over to creme brulee. Same brush. This is what I do. I always use like the same fluffy brush for like my blending shades. And then, like, I'll move to a different brush when I am doing definition shades. I am loving this crease brush so far. I mean, it doesn't, like, stand out, but it's not bad either. Like, it's, it's good. I, I like it. It's something that I'll constantly reach for. I think I like my E40 from Sigma better, though. Like, nothing beats that brush. Nothing beats the Sigma E40, E35, and E45. Nothing does. And I will continue to say that, and I will have links to those down below. But this is really good. Um, I wonder if you can buy these individually. I doubt you can. No, this is like a holiday set, so you can't buy these individually. But, um, so far it's good. I'm going over to Chickadee. Like, the look I'm doing is not important. I'm just like seeing how well, you know, this brush performs. And it is performing beautifully. Wow, look how my shadows are blending, you guys. Wow. So now I'm going to be going into the other one. This is the um, tapered blending brush. This is going to be similar to like the E25 from Sigma or the Morphe, I think it's the M433. I'm pretty sure. Um, and I'm just going to go, I don't even know which one this is. I'm just going to go into it. It's like a pretty brown. And I'm just going to build up the outer V. This is also probably my eye type. I, like right here I have a lot of skin. So like Everything grips to my eyelid, and then I get gaps in my shadow, and it's so obnoxious. Um, but this one, so far, this brush right here is performing, like, when I'm talking about, like, this specific shape of brush is performing better than all my other ones. So, that is a good sign. Um, when it comes to the shape of brush, I think I prefer this one over my E25 when it comes to this style of brush. Because it's just, it's close to effortless. I mean, this is blending beautifully. I'm loving this brush. And I've used these shadows before, so like I know how they perform on me, and this brush is um, doing its job very well. I'm gonna go one darker. Um, I wanna add in like a little purple, cause I'm feeling spicy. Mmm, you guys see what I'm saying right there? So like this happens with like all shadows on me, just because of my obnoxious eyelids 
So everyone who says, oh my gosh, I'm jealous of like how big your eyes are. I like the shape of your eyes. Mm -mm. Do not be fooled. Like I always have to like put my hand here just to like have less creases in my shadow or gaps. I wish you guys, like it's so obnoxious. I have like so many freaking little lines right there. Okay, so we are going to go in with the pencil brush right here. And I'm just going to smoke out my lower lash line. I'm not sure. This feels like really stiff. I'm really not sure how I will feel about it. I'm not really into like stiff pencil brushes. Oh. Okay, well, that worked. Okay, well then, I guess I don't hate this one. I really didn't think I would like this brush, but... I mean, it's still hard to like do the smoking out part. Because it is stiffer, but like... The initial application, okay, okay, okay. The Precision Face Brush, I think I'm gonna do like some nose contouring and mouth contouring with this one. Um, so I'm going to go in with, um, I'm gonna try to make a geek one again because I want to like it. Okay, I like just how precise this brush is. Oh, okay, all right, hang on. Hang on, we're getting somewhere. All right, this is my new favorite nose contouring brush. I can already like tell you guys that. Oh, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna go finish off the rest of my face really quickly and then I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna just go over the rest of the brushes with you. I'm gonna go over the brushes with you again, tell you which ones I like, hits, misses, all that jazz. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna see if it's gonna become permanent. I know it came out for the holidays and it's like, exclusive to Walgreens, but I'm like crossing my fingers that it becomes a permanent. Um, the only brush I was eh, eh, on was the contour brush, you know, the flat one, only because I just, the brush, there's too many bristles, like it's too packed. And, um, and the one brush that I thought would just be like, you know, whatever, was the Precision Face Brush. This one right here, I just was like, you know. But this is actually one of my favorites. Like this is my new favorite brush for contouring. I really, really, really like this brush a lot and I'm gonna be getting so much use out of this brush. This one is probably one of my favorite ones in the whole collection. The highlighter brush, you can't go wrong with this shape. I mean, this is just like the go-to shape for highlighting nowadays. It's really good, um, really makes the highlight pop in. And I'm really not good at being, you know, entertaining you guys. I like to pretend I'm funny when I'm really not. <laughs> um, and then the crease brush, I really enjoyed this as well. Um, it didn't like stand out, but it definitely is right up there with some of my favorites as well. Like I mentioned, E40, E35, E45, and the E25 from Sigma. Hands down, still my favorite. Actually, I take that back. The E25, I found this one here that I like better. But when it comes to blending brushes, those are still my favorite, and I will always have links to them down below, as well as a coupon code. But this one does the job. I like it a lot, and um, I'm going to get a lot of love and use out of it. This even though it's supposed to be like the all over like face powder brush this is gonna be like my new bronzing brush you guys i like how it's tapered because then it just gives a really nice application for bronzer um it, it's soft it's tapered and it gives a really nice diffused look so like more concentrated and it diffuses out because of how it's tapered so this one's really good as well um i really enjoyed this one and when it comes to the foundation brush this was just very new to me I've never applied foundation brush foundation with an angled brush before. Like it was, it kind of threw me off because like I normally use a brush like this, you know, for my blush. I did like it, but I needed to play around with it more. So for the last few brushes, this blush brush, I gotta play around with it more once again. Like I really liked how I applied the blush, like it looked nice. But as I mentioned, I'm more used to like the angled flat brush to apply um, blush with. And the setting brush, this, this is my new favorite under eye setting brush. Um, it just, it gave such a soft look without making it look chunky. My one from Morphe that I really like the shape of, just, I don't know what it is. I think there's just like so many bristles. It applies so much powder. Like this is a really nice diffused look. So it makes your under eyes look so soft and airbrushed. The last two, the eyes ones, this one is, um... My favorite one when it comes to this shape, so the M433 or the, is it the M433? I think it is. Or like the Sigma E25 or the um, MAC 224, I think. Anyways, um, th I like this one best. It did the best job when it came to blending out with my eyes. So I do like this one a lot. And this one, 
Nothing too special about it. It's just kind of a pencil brush. It did do a really good job on my under eye. I just wouldn't want to smoke out my under eye with this one. But like the initial color, it does a really good job. Overall, I really enjoy this pro collection. I think it's just so sleek looking. Um, and I cannot wait to just continue to use these. Really reminds me of the Bold Metals from Real Techniques. And I think that this kind of like replicates a little bit. And I don't think I'll be purchasing the Bold Metals collection anymore. Like I've been like wanting the Bold Metals. And every time I try to go to get it, it's sold out. I don't think I need those anymore now that I have these. These feel the same, they look the same. Um, vegan, cruelty free, from Wet n Wild, so it's super affordable. Entire kit was 30 bucks. I'm happy with it. I will find out more information to see if it's permanent or not, but in the meantime, exclusive Walgreens. Go check your Walgreens to see if they still have it, if you are interested in this collection. Overall, do I think it's necessary and you need it? Um, if you have brushes similar to this, no. Um, if you're a collector, yes, absolutely. If you are looking for your first brush collection and it's still available, yes, I do recommend it. So it's it's kind of, it really just depends on your collection, your size, your style, everything like that. It's a really good bang for your buck. These are high quality brushes for 30 bucks. So the price is right, but if you already have so many brushes of these types, I mean, you don't need more. But um, yeah, that's everything I want to mention about these brushes. I really am enjoying them, and I look forward to using them more. And I, if you guys try these brushes, let me know. And if you are interested in them, run to your Walgreens because these are exclusive to Walgreens. Um, I'll see if it's Walgreens online as well, and if it is, I'll leave a link. But if not, I'm sorry. But um, on that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a big old thumbs up, and make sure to comment down below. If you're returning to my channel, thank you so much for tuning in. It really just means the world to me. I your support just means everything to me, and I just love chatting with you guys. Um, my daughter's been very sick the past week, so I'm sorry if I have not been responding to comments. I have not been very active on social media, um, but she's feeling better, so everything's getting back to normal. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Goodbye.